And so now we move on to something called a full adder. And this is where it takes three inputs and generates the sum and carry values of adding those inputs together. And as you might have guessed, if we wanted to move on from one column of binary addition, we need a full adder because we have to take into consideration the carry values from the half adder when we're adding it to the second column of, of uh, information, like so. So the simple half adder 0 plus 1 is simply 1 with a carry of 0. But if we have something like this, the second column is 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. The third column is 0 plus 0. Well, it's 0, but of course the carry down here needs to be included. So we need the ability to take three inputs and generate the output number, which we need is 1. So let's look at how this might look in a trace table. So in the full adder trace table, we've got our A and B inputs as normal, but we also have the carry from anything previously. Um, from that, we're going to generate the sum and then the new carry for the next column. And so if we've got 0 as a carry from the previous column and A and B are 0, then the sum, of course, should be 0 because three zeros added together as zero, and of course the carry should be zero as well. We don't need a logic circuit for that. And if we have A and B as zero, but the carry from the previous column is one, then the sum should obviously be one, and there should be no carry bit into the next column. Again, we don't need a logic circuit to work that out. Let's fill in the rest of the table um, for all the possibilities of C, A, and B. In this next row, um, A and B is added together as 1, there's no carry, so the sum's still 1, the carry, the next column 0. But this time we've got, in this row, we've got A and B added together as 1, but the carry of 1 from the previous column, which makes it 0 and 1. Okay, and if we stop there and just highlight the sum and the carry, I hope you've noticed that this is simply just a half adder. Okay, so the results of those four combinations of digits give you just a half adder from the, the first uh, part of this video. The second one, we're just going to sort of continue, but I'm going to do it in a slightly different colour. In the last four rows, you can see that we have one a sum, a carry of zero, zero of a sum with a carry of one, zero of a sum with a carry of one, and then this one has a sum of one and a carry of one. And this doesn't fit with our half adder calculations from the first half of this video. It's more that it's a it's a negation of, of this, isn't it? So it's like an, a negated XOR for the sum, and for the carry, it's it's an OR gate. But we have to be a bit more complex than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on the next slide how we combine two half, half adders together to make it able to calculate this trace table correctly. So with the full adder logic circuit, let's just start with our basic half adder and just complete what's inside the black box. So we have the XOR for the sum and the AND for the carry. But for the full adder, you need to have C, which is the carry from the previous um, half adder. And we just have a second half adder at the top right. But this time, instead of A and B feeding in, we have C as the first input. And we have the sum coming out from the first half adder as the second input. And so this allows us to include a carry from the first column. But it doesn't quite give us what we need because we've got one sum as the output and then we still have two carries. So we have to somehow marry these two together into one single output. And so for that, we simply just use an OR gate. 
and the OR gate takes the input from both of the carries and then outputs the final carry. Okay. So you saw in the previous slide how the trace table should look. Let's try this with a very quick example. 